Welcome back. What's the saying? Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid, right? Sometimes all it takes to solve a difficult problem is a simple solution. So in tonight's sponsored Utah Success Stories, Doug Jessup talks with someone reminding everyone to not only wash your hands, but wash your nose. When it comes to COVID-19 hygiene, you know you're supposed to wash your hands, but have you thought about washing your nose? Nate Jones certainly has. He's the president of Utah-based hygiene company, Clear. What kind of studies have been done since this pandemic? There's actually been a lot of papers mm -hmm. on the topic of nasal hygiene. Okay. Even in the Journal of American Medical Association, there was a paper, there have been a couple of them, where they're looking at just using the saline. Mm -hmm. And even the authors of those papers said, this would probably work better if you put virucidal agents or antiviral agents into it that block the virus in the nose. Okay. There was another one where they were looking at iodine, and they said, and the, and the closing arguments of the paper are, anything we can do to lessen the viral load in the nose is going to lessen the severity of the symptoms, and it's going to reduce the shedding, which is the spread of the virus to other people. The studies that we've done at Utah State University show that not only does our nasal spray destroy the virus, but the, the studies that were done at University of Tennessee show that the xylitol blocks the ability of the virus to adhere to the tissue. And there was another paper that was published in, I think it's Science Magazine, it's Anthony Chengdu. It actually describes the method of action of the xylitol blocking the viral adhesion. Apparently, since you're not a drug, you can't make quote unquote health claims. But what are some of the things that you guys can do? So, so we can make health claims because we're a hygiene tool. We can't make disease claims. Oh, okay. okay, so we can say that you're washing away the bacteria, but we can't say that it prevents ear infections, okay? okay. And that's kind of like saying washing your hands doesn't do anything, it just gets rid of the bacteria. Mm -hmm. And, it's, and it, you know, it's one of the most effective things you can do. With another Utah success story, I'm Doug Jessup, ABC4 News. For more information on how you can be featured as a Utah success story, just head to abc4.com success. And we wish